With advances in technology, greater emphasis today is being placed on fire safety in all of our means of transportation, at sports and entertainment venues, in all aspects of our daily lives. Experts agree that 70% or more of all deaths in a fire are due to smoke inhalation by toxic smoke of carbon monoxide, cyanide, and many other toxic gases and dust. Medical experts all agree that within the first two or three minutes of breathing toxic smoke or dust that you may suffer from shock or even cardiac arrest. Fighting fires with fire extinguishers can be deadly if you are not prepared with the proper breathing devices. On the Earth, we breathe about 21% oxygen and 78% nitrogen. You may currently have a filtered product, a fire escape smoke hood, but all filtered devices, no matter who the manufacturer is, whether it's Drager, 3M, MSA, Sunstrom, or even ourselves, require a minimum of 19% oxygen present in the atmosphere or they will fail. That's why when firemen go in to a burning building, they always wear supplied air through an SCBA, a self-contained breathing apparatus with a big tank on the back, giving them 30 or possibly even as many as 45 minutes of breathable air depending on the size of the tank that they're wearing. The simple fact is this, is that fire consumes oxygen and if there's no oxygen we as humans cannot breathe. Three minutes without air and we as humans will die. It's a medical fact and that's why firemen when they go in to fight a fire need supplied air. You know in the atmosphere alone there are all different types of toxins. Carbon monoxide, hydrogen chloride, ammonia, benzene, sulfur dioxide, formaldehyde, hydrogen cyanide. There's all different types. In fact when wood burns in the forest whether you're cook, you're burning the wood in your fireplace or whether it's the woods outside in the forest fires there's about 200 different kinds of chemicals being released in the atmosphere. Even the CDC, the Center for Disease Control, have done numerous studies and found that as you see in the chart presented before you and this information is public information found on the internet and you'll see in yellow 12,000 parts per million that's 12,000 parts per million that's not that much when you think it per million death within one to three minutes 400 parts per million frontal headaches within one hour one to two hours nausea convulsions death within two hours and if you see in the red there it says 50 parts per million is the maximum average level for continuous exposure in an eight-hour workday per U.S. federal law. And yet you'll see at the very bottom there nine to twelve parts per million is the concentration often measured around busy city streets and intersections. So for you joggers out there who are running along the side of the road okay and breathing in all the carbon monoxide you are killing yourself. For you out there who think wearing these masks when jogging is going to protect you you from the toxic smoke and the pollutants in the air you're sadly mistaken because those masks that you're wearing are only containing carbon filters. Carbon filters will not scrub out carbon monoxide. Think just because of the name carbon it's going to scrub it out? You're wrong. You have to use hopcolite which has been used by firemen in filters for fighting fires and everything for over 100 years. That's why we recently tested our EEBD, our emergency escape breathing device, which is a self-rescue respirator, our HFZY60. This was recently demonstrated at the Israeli Maritime Training Authority found in Akko, Israel. This is a government-owned facility and we tested, actually demonstrated our product there. This short video will actually show me walking in to a toxic environment full of toxic smoke. Good day, my name is Robert Coleman, CEO of CY Holding Company, and today we're here at the Israeli Maritime Training, Training Authority. Authority in Akko, Israel. Israel, okay, which is close to Haifa, not very far away. What we're going to do today is we're going to demonstrate our EEBD, our HFZY60, a product that will give you up to 60 minutes of breathable air. I'm actually going to go into a smoke-filled environment again, and when you see me next, I will still be alive. And if not, it was nice knowing you. <laughs> okay, we're here at the Israeli Maritime Training Facility, and 
I'm going to show, I'm going to walk into their uh, room that they use for training and actually expose myself to toxic smoke again. Okay? So, this is really simple how to use this. You have a bag here. These bags, which are soft case, these units themselves are actually flame re resistant. So they are also treated so that they won't catch on fire. It's simple to take out the unit itself, discard the bag, and you won't see a tear mark anywhere on here, but you just grab it like so it can tear it anywhere on the vacuum sealed bag. Okay, these are vacuum sealed, so they'll give you five year shelf life. And then, I'm just doing this slowly so that you can see this, but it's just a matter of unfolding this unit. There is a clear mylar cover on here, and this clear mylar just protects the visible PVC so that you can see clearly when you put it on. And you just open the hood like so, you unfold the front like so, and you're gonna pull two plugs. Now there are two plugs on this unit, one that's on the inside and one that's on the outside here. And on the outside of the plug, you'll see there's a vacuum seal plug and it is pulled by this unit here. So I'm gonna take this one plug here, which I'm gonna show you, and remove this plug like so. Then there's another plug inside here. I'm doing this slowly. Normally you would do this quickly, but I'm just doing it a little bit slowly so everybody can see. And there's a plug on the inside. And there's a plug on the inside here. And you pull the ring like so, and it removes the plug on the inside. So that now you have a clean go through, and now you put it on, and it's going to be hot. You have to understand I'm 68 years old. I'm not young. Robert, for non-trained uh, people, how long will it take to open and put it on? Pardon? For, non for someone who's not trained in doing that, how long will it take him to open all the case well, and put it on? 30 seconds. 30 seconds? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. OK, thank you. Once I adjust the size cap, I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Yeah. Now the book is left. Okay. Come for me. Come for me.
Yeah, but I only took picture from that side. So go back inside and please come out again. Why is this camera not working? No, it's not the vent of the So you're still alive? How was it? Robert, can I have one of my guys put the, the mask on and go inside? I remind you, you're 68 years old. Yeah, yeah. man. I'm not a young kid anymore. Yeah. Let me go. A little bit. The ceiling is which you experienced so far. I wonder what they use like a fire with a sentence. Yes. Uh, that's why I was mentioning before, before you came up. Okay. Uh, I was in Qatar. Uh, they had some of the fence there. They had a big steel down there. They had a table, or not a table, a big uh, can. Uh, that was full of oil. And they had oil burning. So the flames were shooting up maybe. Oh, three meters, five meters, okay. and I would stand next to the fire, you know, no problem. So, I've done that before, where they've had the whole fire, fire, fire. Because most of the people they don't do it there. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't uh, do it with direct flame. The question is, is it the most important thing? But you have to. You have to be able to really know that whatever the problem is, it works. Robert. The metal is extremely hot. Yeah, you know why? The, the chemical reaction? Exactly, and it's still working. But this is not touching my face. This is not touching your face, it no. doesn't bother you. No. No, the, the heat, it's an exothermic reaction. So there's a certain amount of, when you're breathing out CO2 and it's mixing with the KO2, there's an exothermic reaction. The air that's produced, the oxygen that's produced, is about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. Or about, I don't know, what's that, 28, 29 degrees yeah. uh, Celsius. Celsius, something like that. So, but it's not harmful to your lungs, it's not harmful to your body, okay, and it doesn't come in contact with your face or anything. But it does get hot, because it's the chemical reaction that's, that's taking place. Can one of my guys put it on and go back inside? Yeah, See how I want to. We'll give it a was it hot inside? Uh, it was. It was. But it wasn't near as hot as when I was in Vietnam. Because it's metal. Well, we just started the fire. We wanted the smoke, not so much the temperature, because for this, right. what's relevant is the smoke. Exactly. Michael, are you ready? Have a seat, please. Well, unless you, you want to try a different one. Speaking no, no. Okay. Now, I adjusted this for my face, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Can I use the, uh, the You can use that if you wish. That's up to you. Just for the smoke. Yeah, this is just for the smoke. Now you'll feel the heat from the metal 
five. It's just the chemical of the. Uh, it's, it's just the chemical reaction of the CO2 mixing with the KO2, yeah, which yeah. creates a certain amount of heat yeah. to make the breathable air. That's why I'm like, ah, But I wasn't in there like I don't know, 20 or 30 minutes. These are good for 60 minutes, so it's still working. So you can put it on and go back in. Yeah. So there is some safety issues that you should just put it on? No, the best thing to do is put it under your chin and then pull it across. Right. And then make sure that you've got it, you know, in the back, okay. And then put the nose and the mouthpiece up against your nose, just like you would on a SCBX. No different. And then adjust the side strap. Make sure that you pull the head back so you have a visibility, okay? Now, this is going to be a little bit different because it's already been exposed to the thick black smoke and everything else, so it's not going to be clear. Clear, yeah. Yeah, but it, yeah, there you go. Pull that back and then adjust the side strip here. It's supposed to be. I can feel the heat, huh? Yeah, you can feel the heat. Oh, it's not as just much hold it right there right now. You can just hold it on your face. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's, okay. it's hot, but don't put, it, don't put the metal on your face because it doesn't touch. It shouldn't touch. I don't need to come directly to the mouthpiece. Yeah, you just breathe through the, the nose and the mouthpiece. Just breathe through it. Yeah. Well, it should be pretty, yeah, it should be relatively sealed, yes. It's a closed system. See how your hood's going in and out like that? It's because you're breathing in and out and everything. But this bag will start filling up with excess. What closes it is the neck piece. Yeah, the nose piece, the, the neck the band neck closes the, the neck off 100%. It seals it off so nothing can get in, well, nothing can get out. So yeah. then, it's just like having an SCBA, no different. Yeah, I mean, I've done this like, I don't know how many times. Let me take the, the See, and then it will go for, you know, up to 60 minutes. So if he's in there for another 20 minutes, he's got no problem. Because, see, I'm only breathing maybe 15 to 35 breaths per minute. Okay. Because you're used to it, yeah. But if you're not panicking, you're not moving fast. Well, I'm not running. Yeah, I'm not exercising. I'm not. My my respiratory level is pretty uh, subdued. It's not, you know, really like I'm excited or whatever. Because I've done this so many times, I just go in and just breathe normally. Yeah. But uh, I mean, you know, the thing it, it works. Pace. Um, if you were, let's just say you were breathing at 15 breaths per minute, yeah. it will last 197 minutes, which is three hours. <laughs> so it is dependent. Okay. It really depends on you know if you're active or if you're passive. Yeah. How many CO2 you you're pulling out? Because that reacts to the KO2. Uh, the CO2 you're pulling out about 23. No, that, that's what well, that's the important stuff. About 23. About 23. Is it 23? Uh, I don't know what that is. CPM, CPM. No, is it copper? I've got the chemical. I think you know on the on the CD that I gave you. There's the chemical reaction there. It actually shows based on the mathematical your, part. Yeah, it's the okay. whole calculation. And if it's not on there, I can send it to you. But I'm, I'm sure it's on there. We were asking ourselves, that will it need Israeli legislation or Israeli standards? Well, see, and here's the thing. I was on the... On the uh... Okay. Is okay? No, no, I'm going to go there. You're going to go there every time. The guy will go there. Ah, you're already there. You can go there. What do you want? Go there. I want to go there. You're going to go there. אני צילמתי את זה, כי כל פעם אתם שונים לי. זה לא... אתם עושים בלאגן. אתה יודע, מה, פעם יוצא מפה, פעם יוצא משם. צריך להיות מוכן, חביבי, הוא לא... הלו, אני לא בגיל בשביל להיות מוכן. קדימה, נו. צא מאיפה שיצאת עכשיו. תהיה בפנים דקה ותצא. in the USA, Pennsylvania, where they do the testing. Yeah. 
and everything. And I had a conference call with the, the owner and, or the manager and two other engineers. There's nothing like this on the market anymore. They don't even have a standard for this. Oh, that's good. That's good. You got that on video too? Yeah. Great. Okay. Good. It's hot. Just the heat, yeah. And everything else is fine. Everything else is okay. And, and it, you know, you're breathing. I am breathing, yeah. Just the heat. Just, it, it's just the heat. So the, the, it's, it's, not, it's not really terrible heat. It's just there's heat in there. Because it's the chemical reaction. Tell us, how was it? Well, it was hot inside. Just the breathing reaction, the chemical reaction. Uh, apart from that, you don't feel any kind of smoke penetrating so far. Yeah, there's no, there's no penetrating. Breathing, breathing is easy? Breathing is easy for me, but I think for a person that, especially for women, put it on the first time, and they're not ready to this heat impact directly in their uh, lips, everything is fine. I mean, for people that taking it like uh, a little bit cool, because in, in case of fire and everything, you have to add the psychological effect at the same time. So if the psychological effect at the same time working yeah. on your mouth and you're not a trained person, that you are actually aware to that and ready for that, I think that psychologically people can develop kind of a... They're concerned about, concerned the, about the heat. Yeah. And they will not, uh, make so, what the so what you're saying, a certain amount of training is needed. Well, and that's why yeah. when we sell these, and I sell these like all over the world, whether a customer buy whether a customer buys two pieces or whether they buy fifty or hundred pieces. You have to come with the training first. I'll I I always send a training unit free. Yeah. A training unit goes with it, the sheet that I showed you, which is the steps, and the video as well, which has me actually doing a whole uh, introduction to the product and talks about the heat as well. Yeah. And that's enough of, of that. enough of training to expose them to whatever is going to happen exactly. and let them know exactly. so once it happens, they're ready so, for so it. They're, so they're not surprised. No, they're not if panicked. You're feeling, yes. If you're feeling the heat around your lips, it's not the, uh, it's the not effect sound. of fire, it's the effect oh, of this that. chemical reaction of the KO2. It's, exactly. It's acceptable, it's acceptable, for, the person, it's acceptable for a person that knows and aware. That's why we always supply a free training unit the video yeah. and the sheet. The bottom, that that way, they they have all the information, so that they don't panic. So they don't. So they don't have problems. Great. Yeah. And it's you know it, it works. Uh, I'm still here today. After after I don't know how many times. So as you see me here walking into the unit full of toxic smoke and fire, and then eventually coming back out and 68 years old i'm still alive and well these units are designed to save your life to give you supplied air for up to 60 minutes or 30 minutes depending on the model even the fireman himself he put it on even after i wore it for a long period of time put it on and also walked into the same environment as you see here we even took thermal imaging showing me inside the smoke filled room with fire and with the unit on that's me with the unit on and at 68 years old i'm still alive to hear talk to you about it today these units will give you 30 or 60 minutes of supplied breathable air just remember you know if you're using a filtered product three minutes without air three minutes without air we as humans will die and 70 to 85 percent in some cases up to 95 percent of all deaths in a fire are due to smoke inhalation so protect yourself remember in toxic smoke there could be anything from carbon monoxide sulfur dioxide benzene in some cases it could be phosgene gas uh, which is uh, a threat as well or chlorine gas these units are a closed system so no matter what the volume or parts per million even if there's no oxygen you're in a confined space these units are designed to save your life remember carbon monoxide is odorless colorless okay and if you're burning wood or coal natural gas kerosene you need to have protection especially if you're camping or whatever and as it says here you know as little as 60 seconds 
you can die from exposure to carbon monoxide. Even children, infants, pregnant women can be terribly, uh, tragically exposed and terminated with not having proper breathing apparatus. In fact, there was a lady in Chicago. I was staying at a beautiful hotel. I'm on the 45th floor. I come down from the hotel. I've got my smoke hoods with me, so I'm protected. I walked in to the front desk. I gave the woman my catalog. I asked her, I said, uh, do you have a general manager, safety director that I can leave this catalog with? She wanted to know what it was about. I showed it to her about the smoke hoods and immediately she said, I want five of them right now. How quickly can you get them to me? And I said, uh, well, you're in Chicago. My office is in St. Louis. I can get these to you in a couple of days. We take Visa MasterCard, no problem. Well, I asked her, I said, what happened? Something happened. She said, well, I need five of these. I need five pieces immediately. And I said, well, something happened. She said, we had a fire in our home. And in the fire in our home, we had a situation where we all got out safely, all the family members, but the pet dog was still inside. She ran in to get the dog. She got the dog, went back into a toxic smoke environment, came back out, and she saved the dog. And I said, well, then everything got out okay. She goes, no. And I go, why? What happened? She said, I was pregnant at the time, and the toxic smoke that I breathed in killed my baby. You have no idea how toxic smoke is and how tragic the loss of loved ones can be if you're not protected properly. What's really amazing is when you fly on a plane, no matter where you fly, what airline you fly on, could be Singapore Airlines, Qantas, Air Jamaica, whatever, next to the fire extinguisher, they have what they call a PBE. And you can see it here in the photos. These PBEs are called protective breathing equipment. What it is, is it's a smoke hood. You can actually see in the photo that it has the appearance of a hood. Well, it is. And those hoods actually utilize the same chemical KO2, potassium superoxide, to make breathable air. They put them next to every fire extinguisher on every commercial plane on the planet. In fact, when you look at the safety cards on all aircraft, you will see these safety cards. And you can see here in the depiction that I have attached, you can see what you're supposed to do if there's smoke filling the cabin. Well, the ironic part about this is, is that you're in a pressurized gas chamber. You're flying at 35,000 feet. And the bottom line is, is that you can't uh, get out safely because you can't open up the door at 35,000 feet. You'll decompress the plane and kill everybody on the plane. But that's another video, which we will do at another time. You see the PBEs here being worn. As I said, even the photo I have here on Ethiopian Airlines, next to the fire extinguisher, they have a PBE. They have a smoke hood. If you have a fire extinguisher in your business, you need to have a smoke hood next to it. You can't fight a fire if you cannot breathe due to toxic smoke. It's simple logic. You can't fight a fire if you cannot breathe. And be honest with you. So, you know, do you know what's coming out of the fire extinguisher? Do you know that the chemicals that are in there can coat your lungs and actually asphyxiate yourself? You can actually die from the powder that's coming out of the fire extinguisher. But they won't tell you this, okay? It is our job to inform and protect lives. That's our job. And as you see here, even myself, I carry two of them on every plane I fly. Our EEBD and our 60 minutes. Because the PBEs that they put on the plane are only good for 15 minutes. The ones they put on the plane, which are only 15 minutes, are only for the flight attendants. You as a passenger have no protection whatsoever. And the masks that come down, those masks won't come down until the plane reaches a safe altitude of 14,000 feet, whereby they can then decompress the plane and do what they call venting the plane. They can actually bring fresh air from the outside, pull all the smoke and contaminants from the inside of the plane, and vent them out the plane. At which time they turn on the oxygen for the masks. Not above 14,000 feet. If you don't believe me, go out to Airbus, go out to Boeing, go out to their websites and look at the PDF file that they have there showing what the flight attendants are supposed to do in case of smoke in the cabin. It's the truth. They are the facts. That's why I carry two of them with me. TSA, security people all over the world, they know these products and 
I have no problem getting on the plane. As I said, I carry two of them with me. The ones that they put on the plane, again, they're only 15 minutes, which is not enough time, which wasn't enough time at 9-11 as well. And not only that, but they cost about $1,000 each. Our 60-minute HFZY60 EEBD retails at $250. That's the retail price. I can buy four of mine for every one of theirs. And mine are going to give me 60 minutes protection versus 15 minutes for the ones they put on the plane. Do you know how much toxin is in the atmosphere? Do you know which toxins are in the atmosphere? Do you know whether it's ammonia, cyanide, carbon monoxide, chlorine gas? Do you know what concentration level? Do you know the PPM? I think not. And just remember, all filters require a minimum of 19% oxygen present in the atmosphere for them to function properly. That's why we have our EEBD, Emergency Escape Breathing Device, that will give you either 30 or 60 minutes of supplied air in a closed system so that no toxins can get in whatsoever and that you can evacuate, escape, or be rescued safely. Our EEBD self-rescue respirator has been demonstrated all over the world in facilities just as we've seen here today in Israel where I walked into a hostile environment full of toxic smoke and fire and still alive today giving you up to 60 minutes of breathable air. We've had these units demonstrated in Qatar, in India, in the Philippines, as well as in Vietnam earlier this year in the USA and just in June of 2018 as shown here in this video demonstrated in Israel, where even the firemen, they put it on, walked in and walked out and gave it two thumbs up. Dow Chemical, Nestle, Philip Morris, the Philippine Navy and Coast Guard, the Boston Globe newspaper, Saudi Aramco, Lafarge Cement, even used on underwater submarines, as well as federal correctional facilities and the police and thousands of others worldwide use our EEBD. Do you? The question really comes up, why choose ours over the others? The answer is really quite clear. We provide 30 or 60 minutes of breathable air, whether it be supplied air or filtered air. We have products to suit everybody's application, which allows enough time for evacuation or awaiting rescue. We also provide a five-year shelf life. We don't provide longer, some people out there in the marketplace say that they give 10 years, 12 years. I've even heard up to 16 years, which I kind of laugh at because I asked the question of the manufacturer and they go, yeah, 16 years. And I said, oh, well, did you have this actually uh, bench tested? In other words, did you put it on the shelf for 16 years and then actually test it after 16 years to make sure it actually worked? Or did you simulate this on a computer? The answer came back, we simulate. Well, a simulation is not real life. We put ours on the shelf for five years. After five years, we have them tested to verify that in fact, after five years, they do in fact work. And 16 years is really quite ridiculous when you think about it. Let me ask you the question. Would you put on a pair of underwear that was 16 years old? I don't think so. In fact, I've asked people all over the world if they would put on a pair of 16-year-old underwear and feel comfortable in it. Well, I keep getting the same kind of answer and the same funny look on their faces when they say, my God, no, we wouldn't put that on. Well, this is supposed to be a device that's supposed to protect you. And if you wouldn't put on 16-year-old underwear and feel comfortable in it, why would you put on a, something that's supposed to protect you, protect your life that's 16 years old? That's why we only give you five years and make sure that you have the freshest product available to guarantee your protection. We also provide free training videos, free training units. In fact, we're the only people in the business that actually provide a free replacement warranty. Yes, you heard it right. We give you a free replacement warranty. We actually will replace any one of our products absolutely free anytime during the five years if it's used in a documented case where there was smoke or fire or some other kind of chemical toxin released into the atmosphere and you had to use our product to evacuate or escape safely. We want to make sure that you're happy with our product, that we guarantee our product and we will give you a brand new one absolutely free. We just need an incident report from civil defense, local police or fire, as well as photographs of the products that you used and we will send you brand new ones absolutely free. As long as it's used in conjunction 
with its intended use. But we also give free A3 size laminated instruction sheets, as seen here for the EEBD. Gives you step-by-step -step instruction on how to simply put this on within 30 seconds or less. We're here to work with you as partners in saving lives. Feel free to go out to our website at www.ase-safety.com. That's www.ase-safety.com. And let's work together as partners in saving lives. We've also put some links to some other videos that you may have interest in on some of our other products that we have available.